this morning I slept in taking a shower and now I'm going to struggle with our water jugs I've never done this before Kodiak usually does it so we shall see how that goes dress like this so last night it snowed crazy Colorado weather always I knew it was gonna snow that's why I wanted to go on the hike but it was 75 yesterday and now it's snowing a lot of drugs are in here let's watch me attempt to get them out aka struggle for like 20 minutes Gray water tank is pretty heavy and I can barely lift it so I'm only gonna fill up our fresh water tank three quarters of the way and then if it's it's too heavy I'm gonna dump out some so that it's only half because that was kind of heavy and I spilled it everywhere so not a great start anyway now for the fresh water tank sage sage okay did you chase a bunny I don't think it'll sit here. I think we're gonna have to hold it. Oh, it definitely won't sit here. Great, I have to stay here the whole time while it's filling. Not like I have anything else to do. As I was literally just saying to myself, this took like zero time to fill up because, well, it's a bathroom, shower, faucet. Anyway, all right, let's see if I can get this bad boy. Oh, I can! Ooh, exciting! Okay, I can put more in there. So you have to, uh, you have to leave a little bit at the top because of the pipe that's gonna go in there. Cody, I taught me this. Alright. That's not bad. I think that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Well, I can lift it one-handed, so that's a good start. Yeah. Water, then. Oh my god! Alright, well it did splash. Oh my god. All over my leg. Ironically, after all that work, I just now realized that the gray water tank has to go in before I can put the fresh water tank in. So let's go get that. Wait, I can look at the video. <laughs> One of the benefits of videoing. It did go this way, according to the video I just did. Hi. Can you t can you talk for a second? Okay. Uh, I'm just having issues with the uh, the fresh water tank. I guess I could have put him on speakerphone. Um, yeah, so this is not supposed to be oh so very up, straight up and down. Which just means I must take this thing out for a second. Or at least somewhat. Haha! <laughs> There's something it was catching on in the bottom. It's definitely supposed to look like that. And not so. So the camera battery died. I'm not very good at vlogging by myself. This is uh <laughs> this is the second time that's happened. Plus my iPhone is out of storage. Um because it's an iPhone. And yeah, so I cleaned up the van and the rest of the day, I'm planning on going over to my parents' house and doing laundry uh, right now. 
after I clean the sink and it's not gonna be super exciting. I'm going to have dinner with them. I think I'll just, uh, I'll leave you here and I will catch you tomorrow morning. Uh, Kodiak Beck gets back tomorrow. This is me, solo van life. Apparently I don't do anything exciting. So that kind of sucks, but you're getting the raw footage here. I'm not, I'm not spicing up my weekend by any means in order to entertain uh, for the vlog. So yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. So after a long day at work here at my office, Kodiak is home. He landed about two o'clock. I thought he was taking off at two o'clock. So he got home a lot earlier than I thought. I think he's up in Wellington at his parents' house and Sage and I are very excited to go see him. However, the bad news, the mic on the, on its stand, I, I broke the mic. Let's just put it that way. I broke the mic. It was cold last night and uh, the plastic was pretty brittle. So I broke the mic. Hopefully I can fix it with some super glue and it won't be a big deal because it's not, here, I wonder if I can just show you. I'm sorry if the audio, oh, the audio is just crap because of this, but I broke off this little plastic piece. So, oh, that's probably really loud. Yeah, I have a, a newfound respect for anybody who vlogs solo. It's, it's hard guys, uh, there's a lot of remembering to do things and making sure that you get all the shots you need, I just, I'm impressed by you guys, so um, let's go see Kodiak. I'll record Sage's reaction. I know it's a little dark, but we pulled into the neighborhood and Sage is immediately on like hyper lookout. She recognized the neighborhood immediately. And she's very, very excited. I think this next part I'm going to take off the mic because it is broken. Uh, just so that I don't have to worry about it. Let's go! They look a little dirty now because uh, Sage tracks in mud, which is why she's not up on my bed right now because I took off the sheets, which are in this giant bag of laundry that I have to do because they're all muddy from Sage. <laughs>